Ladies and gentlemen, you watching the English news of Bình Phước Radio Television Station and Newspaper. I'm with you with the latest news for today. Bình Phước focuses on budget collection, public investment disbursement, and FDI attraction. Promoting tourism as theme Pamba Cultural Conservation Area. Party Chief Chess Key Leaders Meeting. Nha Trang International Tron Light Show, a new tourism highlight. In a recent meeting, Chairwoman of the Bình Phước Provincial People's Committee, Trung Tuệ Hiền, emphasized key priorities for the coming period, including budget collection, disbursement of public investment, and attracting foreign direct investment FDI. In July 2024, Bình Phước's export turnover exceeded $457 million, while imports surpassed $270 million reflecting a 4.54% increase from the previous month and a 2.66% rise compared to the same period last year. However, in July, as well as in the first seven months of the year, the province's public investment disbursements reached only 22% of the planned target, while the number of new FDI projects was only 11, with a total capital of nearly $97 million. Chairman Hien urged all departments, agencies, and localities to demonstrate the highest level of responsibility and enhance coordination to address any difficulty and bottleneck. She emphasized a proactive approach, addressing obstacles with all possible solutions to complete the assigned task successfully. Bình Phước Provincial People's Committee has issued a directive to promote trial healthcare services. Accordingly, healthcare facilities specializing in obstetrics and pediatrics must enhance their capacity for neonatal emergency care and resuscitation. The directive also asks the Provincial Department of Health to guide medical facilities in implementing essential maternal and newborn care practices, including the kangaroo mother care method, as per Ministry of Health guidelines. The province aims to ensure regular health checkups for children, prevent malnutrition in children under 5, and achieve safe and effective vaccination coverage under the expanded immunization program. Provincial authorities are urged to intensify efforts to reduce child morality due to diseases and accidents while promoting effective local communication on children's health care. According to the Provincial Department of Health report, the under-1 mortality rate in Bình Phước was 9.5% in 2023, and the figure of children under 5 years old was 15.5%, both lower than the national average. The Sting Bamba Cultural Conservation Area in Binh Minh Khami, Budang District, has been actively promoting its tourism potential recently and to attract tourists to the hospitable locality. The site has implemented various activities, including the regular maintenance of its facilities and the preservation and collection of artifacts related to the Sertian people's life and production during the war time. In the first half of this year, the conservation area welcomed 117 groups with over 12,300 visitors, a 136% increase compared to the same period in 2023. The recreation of the Sertian people's wartime rice pounding is always a highlight of the tour to the site. As part of the Bing Phuc Tourism Development Plan for the 2021 to 2025 period, with a vision to 2030, Budang District is reviewing and updating its plans related to historical size, positioning the conservation area as a focal point to create a comprehensive tourism train within the district. And now, let's continue our politing with the latest activities of Vietnamese leaders, monitors in the following report. On the morning of August 6, the country's key leaders met to evaluate the results of July's work and discuss key tasks for August. The meeting, the first of its kind after the party has new general secretary, was chaired by party general secretary and president to Lum. 
The meeting reviewed the major tasks that the Party Central Committee had handled in July, including organizing the state funeral for General Secretary Nguyen Phu Trong, electing the new General Secretary, as well as issues related to socioeconomic development, national defense, security, and foreign affairs. Concluding the meeting, General Secretary and President Tulum pointed out a number of key tasks in the coming time. They included the review of the remaining work until the end of this year, and the preparation for the 10th Conference of the Party Central Committee, among others. For the task of socioeconomic development, it is necessary to focus on removing obstacles and bottlenecks to facilitate businesses' operation, the party leader noted. Prime Minister Phạm Minh Chính on August 6 had a reception for Japanese Minister of Defense Kihara Minoru, who is on a visit to Vietnam. At the meeting, both sides expressed their delight at the steady, increasingly in-depth, substantial and expanding development in all areas of the relationship between the two countries. Prime Minister Chin said Vietnam attaches importance to and wishes to work with Japan to substantially and effectively implement the framework of the Comprehensive Strategic Partnership for Peace and Prosperity in Asia and the world. Thanking the Japanese government for providing the Vietnamese Ministry of Defense with effective support and assistance, he suggested the two ministries of defense continue to strengthen defense cooperation in fields such as human resource training, cybersecurity, and cooperation between defense enterprises, among others. Minister Kahara Minoru briefed the leader on the results of his talks with host Minister of Defense Fan Van Zong. Regarding the world and regional situation, the host and guest emphasized the importance of ensuring security, safety, freedom of aviation and navigation in the East Sea, and resolving all disputes by peaceful means on the basis of international law. More than 34 million e wallets were archived in Vietnam as of June 30th, accounting for 59% of the total 58 million archivated e wallets. According to data from the payment department under the State Bank of Vietnam, Vietnam had 9.13 million mobile money accounts at the end of June. Payment growth via a QR code increased by 104% in quantity and approximately 100% in value in the first six months of this year compared to the same period last year. Currently, the country has 50 payment intermediary organizations, of which 48 organizations provide e-wallet services. According to the National Payment Corporation of Vietnam, NAPAS, the payment market in Vietnam had 3.5 billion non-cash payment transactions last year, with a total value of more than 66 quadrillion Vietnam dong. The number of transactions via QR code reached about 183 million transactions, a strong growth of 170% compared to 2022. The total transaction value via QR code gained about 116 trillion Vietnam dong, an increase of 74% compared to 2022. In recent days, the coastal city of Nha Trang, Khánh Hòa province has captured attention with the Nha Trang International Lodge Base Festival 2024. This event is not just an ordinary festival, but a crowd-breaking tourism product, significantly boosting the local tourism center. Featuring impressive light displays using scrolls, the Nha Trang International Light Bay Festival 2024 regarded Asian world wonders, Nha Trang's cultural scenery, and Vietnam's cultural symbols. The private and digital images in the Nha Trang sky not only provided a visual feast for viewers, but also showcased creativity and advanced technology. During the festival, hotel occupancy in Nha Trang averaged over 90%. Millions of live views on television and social media platforms, along with thousands of domestic and international news articles, highlighted the event. This not only demonstrated the festival's strong appeal, but also reaffirmed Nha Trang Khánh Hòa's status as the premier tourist destination. The Nha Trang International Light Bay Festival 2024 was a restarting success, providing new experiences for tourists and propelling Khánh Hòa's tourism industry forward. With the widespread impact of this event, Khánh Hòa Province is considering making the festival an annual occurrence in the future. And that's it for this edition of BVTV News. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.